friends, my name is Dawn and this is Living a Word-Filled Life. If you're new, welcome, and if you've been here for a while, welcome back. I haven't been making regular videos because I have been in school for the past couple of years, and I did just earn my master's degree in Bible studies and theology, and what I learned is that there's so much more to learn. <laughs> um, I will be pursuing my doctorate, and um, but studying the Bible is a lifelong thing. You can never know everything there is to know about the Bible ever. Um, and what I wanted to share with you is my thesis. And the reason is um, we were asked to do our thesis on our testimony. And I wanted to share it with you. And yes, technically it is my testimony, but it's not about me. So I want to share it because I just want to give it to you as an example of how your life can drastically change from when you have Jesus at the forefront of your life to when you don't. And so this would apply to anybody. So even though it is about me, it's not about me. <laughs> it's about Jesus and how he can change things. So the title um, of my thesis is, or my testimony, is From Rocks to Riches, How the Lord Took Me from a Self-Made Hard Place to an Abundant Life Filled with the Riches of His Mercy and Grace. And I decided the easiest way to share this with you would be in sections. Um, I'll start with the introduction today, and then from there, I'll do individual videos uh, for each chapter. So today is the introduction, and here we go. We were all given the gift of free will. With that gift, we can choose the path for our lives. This testimony has two contrasting paths. This journey started on a path with Jesus at the forefront. Life was sweet and simple, filled with love. As time progressed and the daily cares of life crept in and replaced Jesus at the forefront, the path was now altered. The self-made path was a rocky one that was filled with pain, lack, failure, and deception. All it takes is one act of repentance to create a new fork in the road and you get back on the right path. The key is to put and keep Jesus at the forefront. His path is so much easier, filled with love and joy. The path is not void of problems, but when a problem does arise, Jesus is there with the answer. You get to choose which path you want to walk on while you're here on the earth, but many people think they're just dealt a hand and they have to accept it. But you will see in this testimony that you and your relationship with Jesus will determine where you walk. In this testimony, you will see that a new path was forged in my life, and my life was altered forever. Please know that it is never too late to change your direction. God is always there, always waiting for us. He never leaves or forsakes us, even if we desert Him. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you in Chapter 1. Bye-bye. <music>